I mean, I'm not sure that is the right term for it. Oh, of course it is. Well, Ryan did it. No one called him a sex worker. No, well, you can call it what you like, but she was up to a lot more than we knew about. Well, unfortunately, even in this day and age, a girl has to be careful what she puts online. Can invite all kinds of trouble, I should know. So you're saying it was Lauren's fault? She was asking for it? No. We were discussing it in general, and I would never say it's her fault. Well, saying she should have done something different is victim blaming. I know that. I'm not blaming anyone. Evelyn was saying how over to sex work, and I was saying it's not that simple. So if she was doing it, fair game, yeah. Cassie! Look, I learnt the hard way about what you put online. It's not fair and it's not right, but the facts are the facts. It's an invitation for weirdos. So, in order for a woman to be safe, she has to live a certain way. Hmm? I mean, why is it never about dealing with the dangerous men who prey on women? Yeah, I have said that. Over and over, I have said that till I am blue in the face. It doesn't stop evil men doing evil things. So it was her fault then. Cassie! Ca Hang on, just one minute. All right. Cassie! Cassie, you just stop right now. Why? What do you mean, why? Daisy didn't deserve a mouthful of that like that. What was all that about? Look, I know you're from a different generation, but, but women shouldn't have to change what they do just to be safe. Well, she wasn't saying that. You don't know what she's been through. Nobody knows more about the dangers of the internet than she does. Anyway, we were only talking about it because it might be good for Roy. It's far more likely that whoever did this was one of her clients. That simple, is it? Case closed. She got what was coming to her because it was one of her clients. What has got into you today? Have you ever thought good old Roy might just be a client? I mean, after all, he's a man. The other urges. Even your dear old friend. That is it. I will not have you bad-mouthing Roy. Now, just get back in there and apologise to Dave. No. No. I mean, everyone is obsessing over how she made her money as opposed to what ditch she might be laying in. But blaming her is easy, isn't it? Hey? And shame on you, Mother, turning someone's misfortune into your own daily gossip. You're just as ignorant as the rest of them. You should have seen her earlier. She made a right to do in my shop. Well, she only went out for some fresh air. <laughs> well, I wish she'd gone somewhere else for a fresh air. Because she walked in on me and Daisy having a conversation about Lauren and she put two and two together and made 19. You are? Well, she accused Daisy mm. of saying that Lauren had brought this on herself because she was a sex worker, which is not what Daisy had said. Right. And have you spoken to her about it? Well, yes. And I got a right mouthful. Swing for that girl, I really will. I mean, she accused me of being a gossip, which I'm not, and she didn't go around saying I am either. Right, well, maybe it's not her fault that she's upset. What do you mean it's not her fault? Whose fault is it? Am I... Sorry. <laughs> am I missing something here? No, I I'm just saying she might find this whole Lauren thing triggering or something. Why would you find it triggering? Triggering. Come on, lad. <laughs> Spit it out. Well, maybe in the past, when she was on her own, she might have had to do sex work too. Well, I, I can't say any more. I've already said too much. Hey, you can't drop a bombshell like that and then just clam up. I've got a million questions. Uh, well, it was supposed to be a secret. Why? Did, uh, when did she... How long did she do... I don't know. She didn't go into detail, right? It was, it was just a short period of time, just after I was born. And how long have you known for? A few months. And how did she tell you? She told me the day we went for the meeting for the addicts. She told me it because she wanted me to understand why she is the way she is, and I was supposed to keep all this to myself. Well, you've done well keeping stunned this long, to be honest, love. You are usually a bit of a blabbermouth, aren't you? No offence. Look, I said it because you said she went mad at Daisy and I wanted you to understand she wasn't just being a pain in the backside. Well, you know, there are some things that you're best left not knowing. God. <laughs> I have got to go to work now, so it'll give me something to think about, won't it, while I'm pricing the rice pudding. My daughter, the prostitute. I mean... What am I supposed to do with this information? Just put it to the back of your mind, right? Forget I even said anything. All oh, right, right, that's what I'll do then. Easy. Thank you. I 
Fancy the bussy. Cassie, I know. I know why you ran out like that. Um, <clears throat> and there's no point in beating about the bush, because Tyrone told me that you used to, you know, back in the day, um, that you were on the game. <laughs> he was messing with you. I can't believe you fell for that. No, there's no point in denying it. You know, now is the time to come clean. I told him that in confidence. Bet you're loving this, aren't you? Another stick to beat me with. Actually, I'm really sorry that our relationship was so bad that you didn't feel you could tell me before Actually, you Actually, I told anything. me, Dad. Well, he found out, so I just, I just... He never did. Yeah. Finding out he had a daughter who sold herself. That's what killed him. How did you even start? I mean, would you do stand on a street corner or what? Do you remember Richie? Oh, I remember Richie, all right. <sighs> One of your ragtag gang of so-called friends, 26-year-old man hanging out with a little slip of a girl. Yes, you were only 15. He said he loved me. He'd already got me into drugs by then. I suppose some would say I got what I deserved. Well, some might, but, you know, they might not be right. He made me sleep with his mates for money. Said I'd do it if I loved him. I suppose that's what love looked like to you at that time. God, I tried to stop you seeing him. Why didn't I try harder? We both know it wouldn't have worked, Mum. I never, I never listened to you. And I pitied you and me dad with you. Sad, joyless little world. Thought I could do better. Mm. How did your dad find out? He, um, he found some condoms and a hundred quid in my bag. I suppose deep down I, I wanted to be caught. I wanted someone to step in and save me, but my dad, he just, he, he just couldn't cope. He slapped me, said I'd shamed the family and told me not to tell you. Oh, Mama. I put him under so much pressure. I mean, you blame me for his death. And you were right. No, absolutely not. He had red meat every day. He put salt all over everything. His blood pressure was off the charts. That's what killed your dad, not you. It wasn't your fault. Not all your fault, anyway. You were just a kid. The thing is, you you told Tyrone that all of this happened after you'd had it, but then, if, if you were only 15... I told him a version of the truth, and that was enough to upset him, so I just... just leave it, Please yeah. tell me that Tyrone's dad wasn't one of your clients. Oh. Of course he was. I should have known.